Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be going over maintenance companies and whether or not they're really worth anything. Maintenance companies give two main bonuses, reliability and equipment capture ratio. We're going to start out by testing out the reliability bonus and then we'll move on to the equipment capture ratio later. So we'll repeat the test we did yesterday with the tanks driving through the mountain. We've got five of each, 50 to 95. As we saw yesterday, 95% was the point where we stopped taking more losses. We'll see if the losses from attrition are materially changed by maintenance companies. We've got them in two separate theaters so that their stats are separate. So we're going to do the same thing we did yesterday. We are going to walk them all towards Nice making sure that they don't take attrition along the way and then we're just going to walk them all through the Alps all at once so that they all take the same path same as yesterday and then we'll have them exit there we'll do this two or three times and then we'll compare their attritional losses they're just taking a steady 30% attrition and like yesterday no supply is not a problem at any point in time already once they get there we're going to spread these guys back out let them get their org back and I'll do this a couple more times then we'll come back with the results. Okay, so I've now done this a couple of times. The tanks without maintenance are doing the same sort of thing they were doing yesterday. The tanks with maintenance are also kind of doing the same sort of thing. Let me just put this into Excel and we'll be able to compare it a little bit more directly. Alrighty, so these are the losses with maintenance companies and without maintenance companies. For 70% and 75%, we're seeing no difference. But we're seeing a pretty big difference at 85%, 90%, and 95%. Now, we are using maintenance company 2s here. So that's providing us a 10% bonus to our reliability. So this is actually 93.5%. And that's actually effectively 99%. Meanwhile, here is really only 82.5%. So what we're seeing here is the reliability bonus from maintenance companies does work. It will help you reduce attritional losses when you already have good amounts of reliability on your tanks. It's not gonna provide much of a bonus for low reliability tanks because the bonus is multiplicative, but for your high reliability tanks, it's gonna take your 85% reliability tank and basically turn it into a 95% reliability tank. And for most tanks, that's good enough to minimize its attritional losses. But this doesn't mean you can go wild and create like a 50% reliability tank and then slap a maintenance company on it and wipe your hands of it and think you're good. You're not gonna take attrition. No, you're still going to take attrition. So the reliability part does work. Now let's move on to the equipment capture ratio. So this is the basic little test we're going to be doing for maintenance company equipment capture ratio and if maintenance companies actually meaningfully impact recovery rate. I had a much bigger one that I planned on doing with an invasion of the Soviet Union, but we'll get into why that didn't work, partly through this test. So we've got two divisions here. The castle which has a maintenance company, and then just the regular guy who doesn't. And we've got them in different theaters so that their stats are completely separate. If we go over to the Germans, we have 12 divisions in the north, 12 divisions in the south. They're all the same division, and all we're going to do is we're going to attack with these. Equipment capture ratio and recovery only work when you win. So this test, they've been set up where the Germans are going to lose. Now we're going to have to tag back over to Poland so that we get the full stats of the combat. And I'm just going to show you this real quick. I have no infantry equipment, no support equipment in stockpile, nor any in production. Let's just see how this goes. We're going to win, obviously. That's how I've set it up. And the maintenance companies have no real impact on how this battle goes. So this is the division that has the maintenance company. And as you can see, this is part of the reason why things are bugged and messy. One, we have a maintenance company. We just won a battle. We're showing zero equipment captured. You can show anywhere between 0% of what you're supposed to capture and 150% of what you're supposed to capture. We have an 8.1% chance of safely recovering a piece of lost equipment at the end of the battle. We recovered more than we lost. And if we come in here and we actually check, the equipment exists. And oh wait, there's German equipment here. Well, it's not saying we captured any. Why is there German equipment here? We come over here, same thing for the other guys. We've captured more equipment than we lost. We'll use the little Excel spreadsheet that I used. At 8.1%, we would expect if we lost 175 equipment to get about 14, 15 equipment back. And then back to the capture problem. I'm showing zero equipment captured here, but I have 36 German rifles. If we do the math for that, 36 out of 822 and add in an equal sign at the beginning like you're supposed to, we're getting 0.043%. 
that's not quite half of what we're supposed to get. We have 10% equipment capture ratio, and that's what you'll often find. You get about half of what the game tells you you're supposed to get, and honestly, your recovery amount is not significantly impacted by the reliability bonus, at least when it comes to infantry equipment. That's where it should apply the most. This reliability bonus is multiplicative. It's a 1.1 times multiplier. If you have 10% reliability, it's only going to take you up to 11. So infantry equipment should see the biggest benefit from using maintenance companies, and it doesn't. We literally recovered the same amount of infantry equipment, and we lost net less support equipment because we're using less. That's that's part of the problem. I'll show you the test I had set up and why it just doesn't really work. So we were going to do a test using 30 widths, lots of artillery, lots of chances to take attrition, lots of chances to recover stuff. I even bothered to use armor recon for once. Heck, I actually used a really weird design for them. I use the petrol electric engine for the first time ever because it gives nine more breakthroughs. That's a pretty big amount of breakthrough. So I did this test using just this division and then again using maintenance company three. So 20% equipment capture ratios. I did it twice without maintenance and then I did it twice with maintenance. And this is the second save for with maintenance because this is just a train wreck. This is the day before the Soviets cap, not even a day before the Soviets cap. The Soviets will cap in two hours. So if we come in here and we start looking at our equipment losses and our recovery, we've lost a a bit of equipment. So if we come up here, the PPSH-41. This is the infantry equipment 2 for the Soviets. That's the equipment you want to capture, and that's what I was tracking. You know, we really don't care about artillery 1 that you're capturing. That's not really going to benefit you. I don't care about their infantry equipment 1. Unless you're running out of equipment for garrisons, that's not why you have maintenance companies. You care about capturing up-to-date equipment that is going to be useful and is going to be used by your army. Now, this says we've captured 18.6%. That's pretty nice. That's actually pretty close to the appropriate amount, according to this. But we already have shown this is wrong. For the first time I did it, I captured 30.7% when my equipment capture ratio was 20. This got so messy, I didn't even bother filling out in all of the results because, according to this, if we scroll through, I've captured 20,400 of the PPSH. If I go through and actually check my army, in my army equipment in field details, I have, uh, where is it? 14,700. If I come in here into my logistics tab and I scroll down and I find it eventually, it's right here, I have 7,500. We add those two together, I have 22,200 equipment. I've only captured 20,400. So I've spawned at a thin air, according to this game, 1,800 equipment. But then like up here it's saying I've lost 24,400 and that the Soviets have recaptured 3,200 of their equipment. It also says I've lost 1,175 to attrition and I've recovered 144. None of these numbers add up. None of them. Your own losses add up. I mean, you run into the same problem without equipment capture ratio. You can just ignore these because it's like, oh yeah, okay, sure. I completely lost 19,000 of these. But then it'll say zero here and zero there. And it's really easy to go, yes, I didn't lose any. I didn't actually have have any that's just the bug i clearly have some in my army and i'm clearly using some even if we go back to the other safe uh maintenance one let's go to the maintenance one one the one where i haven't gone through the math if i come in here i've disallowed foreign equipment but we come in here and we look at the detailed list and i'm running into the same problem because the division doesn't instantly kick the equipment out to stockpile if it immediately engages in a new battle it'll just use them nearly impossible to actually properly compare ic losses because you don't actually know how many you've captured did i actually capture 30 percent here but then over there i was capturing 50 percent of what i was supposed to here i'm capturing 1.5 times what i'm supposed to so like these large scale tests are largely impossible to do because of how bugged the combat log is like we come in here and I've lost 590,000 manpower according to the combat log. I come in here, I've lost 107,000. So we can't do those large scale sort of tests because just the combat log, the combat log is so bugged and there's just so many different numbers involved that it's impossible to actually track how much equipment you actually had. But when we do it for small tests like these, we can see that in a battle where none of your divisions get kicked out of combat, you will actually capture more equipment than you lost for high reliability equipment. I'm going to move half these guys off. Half might be too many, but it might be enough as well. I want Germany to push some divisions off the tile, but still lose. Maybe I'll only send 10 divisions instead. And that was too weak. Well, we can still check one thing. For that last combat, Okay, so this time we only recovered 98. And just like that, we found the bug. It was that simple. We found the bug. When I'm attacking like this, there are no divisions in reserves. If I hold this attack, go back to the Polish, and put divisions in reserve, 
and then relaunch the attacks so that both the ones in the north and the ones in the south happen, and then we tag back to the Polish, the Polish will win both battles. They've got 10% entrenchment, Germans had nothing. It's actually surprising this one took so long. But if we actually come into the combat log, the last one that just happened, we recovered 210 of our equipment, versus in this one, we recovered 77. So what's happening here? The divisions that aren't in combat are still recovering equipment. How? I don't know. I don't know how that's happening, but they're still considered to be recovering the equipment. This is still bugging out and showing none, but if we come in here, it's actually showing us how many we're capturing. We captured 75 and 67. So 9.4%, that's not horrible. And then 9.2%, that's not horrible. That might help you out if you're really low on equipment. It's not going to help you with recovery. The best way to maximize recovery is to just have divisions in reserve because the divisions in reserve recover equipment they never lost. Figure that one out. I wonder, hold on, how exploitable is this? I'm going to move you guys off. I'm going to change you to this cavalry division, change you to a duplicate of this division where you're not allowed to actually request equipment. We're gonna change into this division so you don't actually have any equipment in you or you have like significantly less. And we're gonna start walking you towards this province. But then we're gonna tag over to the Germans and we're gonna have them attack. So all these guys are sitting in reserve. One of them got pulled into the combat, but the rest didn't. I forgot to tag back to the Polish, but it's fine. The battle didn't end yet. So the combat log entry hasn't been generated. So we come back here, we're still recovering more equipment. So what you can do is intentionally have divisions that just don't have any equipment sit a province behind and keep putting them into the reserves, not into combat, just into reserves, and they will just generate you equipment out of thin air. They're not doing anything. As long as you win the battle, you'll get equipment. Voila. The combat log here is not actually lying to you. It is generating equipment out of thin air. Anyways, to recap, maintenance companies, the reliability bonus, doesn't really do much. It definitely does not impact recovery. The equipment capture ratio is very finicky and it can be anywhere from 50% to 150% of what it actually is supposed to be. I find it tends to be 50% of the stated value. So I don't think they're very worthwhile. Maybe if you've overproduced support equipment, it could be worthwhile as a small nation who needs equipment. But generally speaking, they aren't very worthwhile because remember, they don't help you win a combat. They are strictly for after you've won a combat. Anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.